The purpose of the film you are about to see is to pass on to you the findings and the knowledge that I have acquired over the years. Hi, um, I called uh, a few days ago regarding a documentary I'm doing on Jay Sebring. Jay Sebring. There was something about Jay that was so glamorous. He had all these great ideas. Not only did he start men's hair styling, he created the very first salon for men in America. Having a new hairstyle for a man was a gigantic expression. From Sinatra to Peter Sellers to Marlon Brando, the list goes on and on. I thought it was just going to keep going and get better and better and better. It didn't. Most people today know Jay as a nameless, faceless victim. Jay was murdered visiting his friend, Sharon Tate. It was really hard for me to digest. It seemed so impossible. They were living, breathing people who were alive and who were here. Jay isn't just this character from true crime history. He was your uncle. Over the years, as Jay's murderers became rock star serial killers, everything I read about my uncle made me question if he wasn't the man I loved. There were stories of orgies and witchcraft. The press went nuts. He had a black belt in karate and kept guns in his throat. What the hell is this? See, these are... Wow, you have done your homework, man. This is incredible. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Sharon and Jay were madly in love with each other. If something happened to Sharon, it was going to be over his dead body. And that's exactly what happened. The uh, autopsy findings would indicate that he had tried to attack Tex Watson with the gun. This is a public records officer. Yeah. Very few people today know who my uncle is. He was forgotten. He was erased. He's been lost in the shadow of Charles Manson. But who was he? One more time from the top, folks. I'd like everybody to pay attention and forget what you've learned before. 